It's the 4th of September. I'm Jerusha Sukthir Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. Here are today's news headlines. The Economist magazine said the ANC is turning its back on human rights and freedom by siding with some of the world's nastier regimes. The article, entitled Clueless and Immoral, says South Africa's foreign policy based on human rights ideals were inconsistent when Presidents Nelson Mandela and Thabo Mbeki were at the helm, but under President Jacob Zuma they had drifted even further. The refusal to allow the Dalai Lama to visit was compared with Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir's quick exit in spite of an indictment by the International Criminal Court for allegedly orchestrating genocide and mass rape in Darfur. The article reads, all countries struggle to balance principles and national interests, yet South Africa's revolutionary foreign policy serves neither. It went on to say that few buy the ANC's argument that Vladimir Putin's Russia is a victim and Barack Obama its cruel oppressor. The ANC Youth League's long-awaited National Congress will get underway in Midrand today, more than two years after its leadership structures were disbanded. The three-day Congress will, among other things, select new leaders. Now, the ANC Youth League has not had a president since its, since its leadership structures were disbanded by the ANC in 2013. The run-up to the ANC Youth League National Congress has been marred by claims of irregular auditing processes and allegations of interference from top structures within the ruling party. Now, it's alleged that presidential candidate Northwest Chairperson Colin Mane was being imposed on by ANC Youth League members by the so-called Premier League of top ANC leaders. And finally, the measles outbreak in the DRC has been described as the most serious epidemic the province of Katanga has seen since 2011. Around 1,085 people died and about 77,000 were infected in the 2010-2011 epidemic. Doctors Without Borders says if the outbreak is not stopped within the next 60 days, the country will face a major health crisis. More on News 24 Live.